I hello. Let us take a look at the different organizational structures. If you understand the organization structure, it is very easy to predict the power equations within the organization which has a direct bearing on the organization culture as well. Basically there are uh, three types of organization structure. So we start with the functional organization and then a matrix kind of thing. So a matrix organization can be further classified into strong matrix, weak matrix and balanced matrix. And then comes a projectized organization and then the composite. So let us take a look at the functional organization. What is given in the diagram here right now is a functional organization where here we have the CEO, we have the functional managers like VP marketing, VP production, uh, VP design, uh, VP HR kind of thing and then the team members are reporting into the respective functional managers or the respective vice presidents. Think of a situation where we are implementing uh, uh, an SAP or an ERP module into this. Most probably the sponsor will be uh, the FM manufacturing. And he'll appoint one of his key department member as the project manager. So the project manager in this case will report to the, the functional manager. Uh, and as a supplier, you may interact with this particular uh, customer's project manager. So in a functional organization, the project manager has very less uh, authority levels. That is a key thing. Because for, uh, he is more like a glorified secretary. So whatever you give to him, uh, he'll take it and put it at the desk or at the desk of the functional manager. So here generally I say, a project manager in a functional organization uh, doesn't need a Montblanc pen because he may not be signing on uh, any major document or any check. Everything will be done by the functional manager. So the point here, what we, what I want to drive is, if you are a project manager in a functional organization, you have very less uh, authority level. Now. A kind of a matrix organization. Uh, in this case, now wherever now let's say these are our technical people, you may have a CTO here. So all the architects uh, may report to the CTO kind of thing. So in a matrix organization, the individual team members will have more than one boss. Whenever we hear the term dotted line reporting. It is, uh, it is an indication of the existence of a matrix organization. So a matrix itself can take three forms like uh, weak matrix, balanced matrix and strong matrix. Now let's say uh, we have a project manager here, independent project manager. So the team, some of the team members are reporting to the project manager. So for the project later activities, they will report to the project manager and for the department activities, they will report to their functional managers. In this case, again, it is a dotted line reporting. So every team member has more than one boss, like project later activities, they are reporting to the project manager and the department level activities, they are reporting to the department head. So again, it is a uh, matrix. The matrix can take three forms, uh, strong matrix, weak matrix, and balanced matrix. What is a, how do you really differentiate? The easiest way to differentiate this is, uh, you just ask one question like, who does the performance appraisal and who does the, the final decision about uh, rewards and increments and stuff like that. So in an organization where people are people have dual reporting and if the functional manager takes decision uh, all, all major decisions with respect to the team members then most probably it is a weak matrix because project manager has slightly better authority than a functional manager but still the functional manager has 
uh, ultimate authority. At the same time, in an organization where there is dual reporting, if both the functional manager and the project manager sit down together and discuss and then decide kind of thing, then it is a balanced metrics because the balanced metrics, both the project manager and the functional manager share the same kind of a power equation. Then uh, as a, a strong matrix, uh, that is when in organizations where there is a dual reporting, uh, if the project manager is making the major decisions in consultation with the, after discussing with the functional manager, if the final decision comes from the project manager, then we say it is a, a strong matrix organization. So, yeah, we discussed about the functional organization. In a functional organization, the project manager has least authority. Most of the manufacturing organizations fall in here. Then a matrix organization uh, where there is dual reporting and it can be further classified into strong matrix, weak matrix and balanced matrix. Uh, in a strong matrix, the project manager has uh, more authority than the functional manager. In a balanced matrix, both the functional manager and the project manager share the same kind of an authority level. Uh, whereas in a, in a weak matrix, the functional manager has more authority than the project manager. Then comes the projectized organization. Uh, in this case, what happens now, uh, here it is the PM1, PM2, PM3, and the PM4. So whatever happens in the organization uh, is managed as a project. If you take a, a, an IT company, project-based company, so it is the project managers who are calling the shots. So everything is managed as a project. So same is the case with the, as a construction company. So everything is driven by the project management, project managers, and the project managers reporting to the, the head of the organization. So in a projectized organization, project teams is, and the project managers are the breadwinners. So they have, they command the maximum authority level. So in a projectized organization, the project manager has maximum authority level uh, and in a functional organization, the project manager has very least authority level and the power of the project managers varies across the strong, ma strong, strong matrix, weak matrix and the balanced matrix. Then uh, we have a composite kind of an organization that means within an organization itself, uh, some part of the organization can be uh, project ties, some part of the organization can be matrix and some part of the organization can remain as functional. So within the same organization itself, you may see the traces of different uh, organization uh, organization structures. It is not just one pure structure. It is a mixture of all these structures happening uh, in tandem. Uh, we call that as a composite organization. To summarize, uh, organization structures uh, play a very major role in, in understanding the organization culture and the power equations. Basically we spoke about uh, functional organization, matrix organization and within matrix we discussed about strong matrix, weak matrix and the balance matrix. Then we discussed about projectized organization and then a composite organization. Then we said in a functional organization, the project manager has very less authority level. Uh, then in a weak matrix, the project manager has slightly better authority level than the functional organization, but ultimately the functional manager has more authority than the project manager. In a balanced matrix, both the functional manager and the project manager have the same kind of an authority level. And in a strong matrix, the project manager has more authority than the functional manager. And in a, a projectized organization, the project manager has the ultimate authority level. Then we discussed about a composite organization which has the elements of you know, all these organization uh, structures uh, 
playing uh, playing in tandem. Maybe some part of the organization can be functional, some part can be matrix, some part can be uh, project ties. That is a composite organization where we will see uh, different, very complex power equations. So this will help us understanding of the organization structures of your own organization, your customer's organization, uh, your supplier's organization and every other major stakeholder's organization uh, will help us uh, to, to, to manage the, the stakeholders um, better. Thank you very much.